the words, but I tried to put pen to paper today. Um, and then some of these are, are going to free flow. So um, I wanted you to take a moment to imagine something with me. And, and, and if you're going to do this with me, I ask that you really quiet your mind and take a chance to fully emerge yourself in this imagination without any thoughts except for what I'm saying. And if it helps you to grab a pen or paper to process through some of this stuff, then do what serves you in this moment. Imagine you were born not truly knowing where you came from or, or understanding your ancestry or who you are, a map. Imagine being a nomad in the midst of a busy, bustling world. As you grow and wander, your story is told to you. And sometimes that story has narratives from many different avenues, not just one. You grow, and as these stories are told to you, they begin to clash. One story is that you are a brave, beautiful king or queen. You are capable of immense things. You are capable to create, to invent, to build, to make the world a better place. That you were chosen to do all of this. You are also told many different things as you continue to grow. As a young child, you are built up have the spirit and then slowly as you travel and grow things are told to you that your journey might be different you're going to have to look different ways process things differently you're going to have to bury things deep You may even have to create your own resources and avenues to get to places in order for you to actually achieve those dreams, to create change, to invent, build, and create. You aren't going to have help to get those places. You will have to do it all on your own. Imagine as you continue to grow, you start to realize this story is true and these resources are limited to you. You look in your neighborhood and it looks different than other neighborhoods. You might not have the same accessibility to different things that other people who now you start to realize don't look like you have. Imagine then that the world starts to share their story of who you are, except they haven't asked you. Instead, this story is curated and crafted 
to describe you the way that story wants to be described for you, to you, but not by you. Imagine that these stories become utter and complete lies about who you are. Imagine for a second that you have no idea why these lies are being said and all you want to do is live those dreams and create that change and build and invent and create. Please stay with me because it's going to get muddy. Imagine now that as you continue around this journey and going places, insert your favorite place that you like to go to on a regular basis. And one day, one day, someone confronts you and says something horrific about you because of the lies that have been told. And it is filled with utter and complete hate. And that one time turns into another and another. And not only are those times talking about who you are, but who other people are who are trying to do the same thing you are. As you imagine now hearing these lies about you, compounded with real interactions, now imagine that you're still trying to do the things that you want to do, those dreams, the ability to create and learn. Imagine that you aren't going to say no to those dreams and you're gonna pack down those things as to not give up because you're worth it and you remember that story of being that king or queen and brave and strong and fierce and courageous because you are. So you put your head down and as you put your head down, you begin to start to realize that you've got to do more. And those people that you saw that might be different than you and their neighborhood looks a little different. You now, you now have to try harder. So now, not only do you just get an education, you get a second education. You take a job just so that you can make a difference. Well, while participating and trying to make this change, you hear more of that stuff that's being said about you. Only now, it's not just being said to you, it's being said to other people, and other people are saying it. And you hear, when you go into public or into your classroom or into your place of work, you hear whispers. And you hear those whispers as if someone is saying something about you because you know they are. And you know that those whispers are things that are complete and utter lies, but yet those whispers continue and those whispers turn into louder, more angry voices and those angry voices become weaponized. And those angry voices then start to create even more for you. 
that imagine now that those weaponized words are are things that you experience every time you leave your house every time you turn on the TV every time you turn on the radio every time you pull into your job anytime you go out to eat with your friends anytime you go to the grocery store anytime you volunteer anytime you go for a jog anytime you have a conversation imagine with me that this pain has built up for so long that you can't control it and now you start to see that other people that look like you are experiencing the same thing only you've now realized the reason why is because systems have been put in place to allow for you to be withheld. Systems have been put in place for you not to be successful, for you not to be able to have your dreams. You see, we talk sometimes about those who break free and we talk sometimes, even me, about how I moved on from places that didn't serve me and things that I was able to do and move through in my life that were difficult and sometimes defeated me. But you see, there's a difference between the story I'm walking you through and my reality. The story I'm walking you through is the story that my sister and brother have to live with every single day. The difference in that story is I benefit from systems that oppress them. I benefit from the aspect that I'm different than them. And you see, the pain and suffering that so many have gone through has been built so much over time. That we continue to see that come alive for us even more now. And the reality is that some of us don't sit with a message and truly put ourselves in a space of understanding. And understanding starts here. Understanding starts with removing your bias, understanding and listening. You see, pain might not occur in a way that makes sense to you in this world. Actions and things you might not agree with, I might not agree with, Joe Schmo might not agree with, Jane Schmo might not agree with, right? Like, we all might not agree, but I know one thing. That story, if it were yours, and you continued to have systems that oppressed you and brought you down and you felt like you couldn't breathe and you couldn't survive, you might feel a little different. And so today I ask as you walk through this with me, if you offer a heart of compassion and an ear for listening 
before you cast judgment, before you post anything, I ask you to please look inside yourself. I ask you please know that there are big parts of our city and our world right now who are hurting more than you could ever even imagine. And you can quickly make the decision to decide to read a book, pick up a phone, and listen, not talk. This is a time for listening. Will you listen instead of cast judgment? As I say to my children, and my mom said to me, and I heard so many from my other mamas who taught me, God gave you two ears, one mouth. Use your two ears before you use your one mouth.